Big Champ over here showing love to all of all the supporters. Yo. Signing t-shirts, yeah, giving them work. out to the fans. Oh, get the, uh, I got a silver one in there. That's a true people's yeah. champion right there. You can ask me questions while I'm doing Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How you, how you feel, champ? You still getting all that love and recognition yeah. from the yeah. fans, yeah. the supporters. Man, it's love, man. Um, I'm not too far away, removed from the ring, so we'll see what happens another year. <laughs> how, how do you feel, you know, seeing all this, uh, this energy, you know, in the stage and the fighters and I all that? I love it, man. Um... The energy around boxing right now is great, and uh, I think boxing has a lot of momentum. Of course, Showtime has got a lot of momentum with the fights they've been putting on. So, um, the the I think the main objective is, it should be to keep it here and allow it to grow. Mm. How do you do that? Keep putting on great, exciting fights, great, exciting promotions, and making the matches that everybody want to see. I think this is a fight that everybody has wanted to see for a little while. We got it. We gotta keep it going from there. Right. Now, talk to me a little bit about, do you, do you get that itch? Like, when you see this, does it, do you get any type of itch of wanting to come back to the ring one day? Um, like I just said, man, I ain't far enough removed from the game to, to <laughs> want to get it back. But uh, I think eventually it might come. We'll see what happens. Right. I, now, what's, I'm sure you gave your prediction many times. I believe you picked uh, Tank in this fight. Yeah, I just, like I said, somebody said, uh, who are you putting your money on? I said, uh, I'm putting my money on Roly. And they looked at me like, what? I said... I'm putting my money on Roly, but I'm not expecting to get paid. I, I don't think that, uh, I think that, wow, that's a big payoff. Um, it, it won't happen. I don't see Roly being able to outbox uh, Tank. And uh, I'm very curious to see if they have a game plan to try to initiate some, some pressure. And if they can put some pressure on Tank, maybe they'll have some success. But I don't know, man. I don't see that happening. Right. Now, you got some rounds in with Tank as well, right? Yeah. How was that experience? Everything you know? that I knew was going to be. Uh, very intuitive in the ring, very confident in the ring. Uh, very, uh, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a general in the ring, you know what I mean? He knows how to control the ring and move, and whether that's him going in or coming out and making defensive moves, offensive moves, he's the, he's the real deal. I think he's the best 135 pounder out there. Right, a lot of people would agree with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, Chan, how's your, your transition been, you know, into commentator and the Porterway podcast, you know? Everybody you know go what, check man, that out. Um, the e easy easy answer for that, man, is uh, I love all of it. Always knew that I would. 2018 is when I got my first uh, consistent start at uh, at boxing commentary. Uh, I did some commentary way back in 2015, and uh, I loved it. I said, man, I need to stay away from this because if I do this some more, I'm not going to want to box. And uh, while that's not the that's the absolute case, that's not the only reason why I retired, but it's definitely... Uh, feels a lot of time and uh, it's a lot of fun as well. Right, now Chan, what kind of advice would you have for fighters? Because most people think to get popularity you gotta be loud, obnoxious, but you're the opposite of that. You're humble, respectful, yet you get so much love. I so tell every fighter to be himself. Mm. I mean, um, it worked for me. I don't know if that's gonna work for everybody. Some fighters do need a gimmick. Some fighters do need to do things that they can be noticed for. Um, and some fighters sometimes it's not the best thing to be yourself, you know? That was the recipe for success for myself. Uh, I would encourage any and everyone to have confidence in who you are and be yourself. And, um, you know, obviously you hope that that works. Um, beyond that, man, you got to keep good people around you uh, that can give you the right knowledge, the right wisdom, and the right guidance. Right. Now, Champ, being that you, so this is one of the hottest topics in boxing, you fought both of them, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. That's a question I ain't asking. Yeah, you, you don't want to give nothing up on that? I touch it until it's time. <laughs> But you look forward to that. 100%. <laughs> that is the best fight to be made in boxing. And I, I guarantee you that will be one of the best fights, uh, not just of an era, uh, and not just of a generation mm. of all time. Absolutely. I guarantee you. Absolutely. I guarantee you. Chat, any last final message for all your supporters, everybody, all your, all your loved ones? I appreciate y'all. The Portaway Podcast. I also have AmateurBoxingChampions.com mm. uh, highlighting uh, all of the uh, amateur champions that will be eventually professional champions. You'll see it uh, real soon. Uh, we got the, the website up. The app is coming soon, Amateur Boxing Champions. Right. Uh, other than that, coming to a, 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 a TV near you, right. uh, the Port Away. So you really invested in the grassroots boxing. Is that something you're, you're trying to get into? Uh, for more, more grassroots, like amateur boxing? Um, just from a standpoint, I'm not going to, I'm not, at this moment, I'm not touching any amateurs. I'm not turning anybody pro. I'm not taking anybody to any 
uh, promotional teams or anything like that. What I want to do with amateur boxing champions is expose the elite mm -hmm. fighters on the, in the amateur system, the guys going to the, to the Olympics, going to the Pan American Games, World Championships. You never see them until they make it to the Olympics. And if they don't do well, you never, hear, you never know who they are, so on and so forth. We'll have in-depth profiles on everybody, and you'll know who these fighters are. You know, you got to know me from seeing me when I became 20 and old, 25 and old. You'll know about these fighters before they turn pro. You'll have a connection with them as they make their 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 trails and they, they make their runs to you know professional championships. Absolutely. You'll know who they are. You want to shed a spotlight on the stars of tomorrow. Boom boom. Right, thank you so much for your time, Chan. God bless you. Wish you the best. Appreciate it.